there's always something to learn when you're looking at an old piece of film. There's something so warm and lifelike about it. It is unexplored history, and we say that all the time. There's a lot to discover. It makes the world come alive in a way that other sources might not. Moving Image Research Collections, it's the university's film and video archive. We are part of the university libraries. We are one of the special collections. It's the largest film archive I've ever been honored enough to work in. <laughs> There are tens of thousands of films in our vaults. We are absolutely in the top 10 for the nation um, and one of the largest affiliated with the university. We specialize in film that's sort of outside of the mainstream of commercial production. Educational films, documentary films, home movies. Science and nature film. I just finished processing the South Carolina Department of Wildlife Films collection. We have the Chinese film collection, which is fascinating. We have some films that were made by the FBI for police training. We have a ton of interesting looks at the 70s South Carolina football team that you might not be aware exist. People might not think about South Carolina when they go looking for footage in 1920s Japan, uh, but we have it. Our newest collection is the United States Marine Corps Film Repository, uh, which we're just starting to um, bring online this year. I have uh, primary responsibility for our largest collection, which is the Fox Movie Tone News Collection. It's our founding collection from 1980. Everybody loves Fox Movie Tone. It is a pleasure to be here this afternoon. We're very fortunate that was given to the University of South Carolina. It is probably the single most important film document of Americana uh, from the 1920s that survives anywhere in the world. When a film comes in, the first thing that we need to do is we need to inspect and process it. And you wind through it and you look at it and you look for damage, you look for decay, you smell it to see if it smells like vinegar. So you're kind of using all of your senses and looking very closely at and seeing what level of care it needs. That work in itself is fun. I mean, that's a little treasure hunt. You don't know what's in the can until you start to, to do things with it. And then there's the process of transferring it and digitizing it and scanning it. We've been working with film scanning technology since 2009. We're involved with the Interdisciplinary Mathematics Institute here at the University of South Carolina because our uh, sound negatives have an optical soundtrack on it. And so what we want to make sure is that we have the capacity through software to um, look at the sound that's encoded on the side of the film and, and then e extract that sound and turn it into actual audio again. All over the South and the nation we can sing Glory, hallelujah! Students interested in programs like USC Connect uh, can get in touch with us. We've done internships here. Well, I actually applied to the University of South Carolina's Library and Information Science Master's program with the direct intention of coming to volunteer here. I'm really passionate about sharing these materials in any way that's possible. We partner with institutions like the Nickelodeon, Historic Columbia, to bring content that documents this region back to the region. But we also partner with international film festivals. Filmmakers like Ken Burns or Bill Morrison can come and ask for our stuff and make a piece from it. Students can use our footage and make something from it. This is stuff that you can use in various different projects or papers. Things that can really heighten your research experience in a way that has a vibrancy to it. But a lot of it can actually be watched on your tablet, on your phone. You know, it can be used even in class merely through streaming it. There are people across the country that are film historians, film geeks, that never, ever in their lives have an opportunity to work with collections of the caliber that we work with. I can think of nothing more important than to see more students and more faculty come to roll up their sleeves and explore it. We don't know how long film will be processed and how long it will be available in the future, so it's going to be archives like us that not only preserve it for future generations, but actually give people the experience of seeing it and handling it and working with it. The possibilities for using it are endless, and while you're a student here, why would you not take advantage of that? <laughs>